Christ is risen. Father Photius here, ready to talk about the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we are talking about the parable of the unmerciful servant, which we see in the 18th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. We're familiar with this one. Um, a uh, man is taking account of his servants, and he calls in one who owed him 10,000 talents, which is an insane amount of money. It's like, okay, you owe me $100 billion. Um, uh, it's just something that he, he couldn't pay off. Uh, when he sees that the man doesn't have money to pay him back with, he orders him and his wife and his children to be sold into slavery to pay the debt. Uh, the man asks for uh, patience, just patience to pay the debt off, and the master, moved with compassion, forgives the debt. And that same servant who is forgiven all of that debt goes out and finds one of his fellow servants, um, grabs him by the throat, and tells him, pay me what you owe me. And uh, he's owed a much smaller sum, uh, 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 about, you know, three wages, uh, three months worth of wages, which is not, uh, you know, nothing, but compared with what he owed to the master, that's nothing. Uh, the servant says, please just have patience with me and I'll pay you back. But he wouldn't listen to him and had him thrown in the debtor's prison. Um, word of this gets to the master, who then uh, says, uh, you wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Should you not also uh, have had mercy on your fellow servant? Um, and so he asked him uh, to be given to the torturers, um, and, uh, and the Lord Jesus Christ said, so my heavenly Father will not uh, forgive you, um, if you do not, from your heart, forgive man, uh, forgive men their trespasses. It is necessary for us um, to have mercy uh, and to forgive. This particular parable, uh, like the others we have discussed, have has said the kingdom of heaven is like, and. Uh, what this parable is emphasizing is the criteria for our forgiveness, highlighting that each one of us owes a debt to God, a debt that can never be paid back. And when we think about it, this debt is huge. St. John Chrysostom talks about the debt. He says, when we did not exist, God called us forth into existence. Um, when we had no food, God gave us food. When we had no drink, God gave us drink. Um, when we had turned our backs on God utterly, he did not destroy us, but rather lovingly pursued us, made a way for us to come back to him, and ultimately sends his son in the fullness of time um, to save us, to raise us up, uh, to his right hand. Um, this debt can never be paid back. Um, and yet, God has forgiven us for our debts, but this forgiveness is conditional. I know some people are going to gasp when they hear that. The forgiveness of God is conditional? Yes, it is conditional. It is conditional upon us forgiving other people their debts against us, not simply, you know, uh, the bad things they've done against us, um, but, but everything, just forgiving everything, letting it go. That's what forgiveness is. Uh, uh, forgiveness uh, it simply means, you know, you, uh, you, you let it go. You don't count it as something that is owed to you anymore. Um, and this can be um, particularly hard for anybody who feels that, well, you know, I have a good reason for holding on to this. I have a good reason for being angry about this or not forgiving this. Um, but really we don't um, because God has forgiven us all of our debts, everything, absolutely everything. If he has forgiven us for, uh, uh, for the debts that we owed him, but also just you know, the, those things that, which we had no control over, okay? If he's not asking for payment back for uh, him creating us, if he's not asking for any of that, which he's not, he's not asking for recognition, he's not asking for anything, okay? He just wants us to forgive as we have been forgiven. So 
Our forgiveness is conditional upon us forgiving others. So let's examine our lives, and we don't have to look at them very closely and consider what are we holding against people. Find it, forgive it. Let it go, because God has let go whatever it is um, that we owed him. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, uh, meet us tomorrow, and uh, we've got another parable. God bless.